I have slain many enemies, and won many battles, and I tell you there is no great secret to success in war. I kill, maim, burn. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Lit Bashing, where the L stands for Legions, the I stands for Imperialis, and the T Bashing stands for Kit Bashing. Now let's get into our next Lit Bash, Khan the Bloody. To start off with, we do our readability check. What are the elements that make Khan stand out from his other little buddies on the battlefield? And the key features we're going to focus on in this conversion are his axe, Gore Child, his plasma pistol, his very fashionable mohawk helmet, and of course, a whole bunch of bloody corpses. The bits we will need can all be found on one Astartes infantry sprue, which is handy. This assault captain has a plasma pistol. This assault marine has an axe. This bannerman has the mohawk helmet. And this assault marine's legs are in the ideal pose for our reference. Once we have our bits cut out, we can start trimming them to the right size and position. I trimmed the weapons off the bodies already whilst keeping the bodies on the sprue. This makes sure they won't get lost and can be used for further lit bashes. I carefully trim the legs off both bodies and then, so as not to waste a very important unit, put the spare leg and body together, rebuilding my assault marine ready for use on a base. Waste not, want not, save the planet, we will have microplastics in our blood, and all that jazz. The axe is good, but it's not perfect. Comparing it to the chain swords, we can clearly see it isn't, well, chain. So I make just a few little notches out of the edge to give it that gnarly, cornate, serrated edge. I attach all the pieces together with plastic cement. It takes a bit longer than superglue, but it's a much stronger bond, and less likely for tiny, rare, expensive bits to snap off half the room away, as will be seen in a little blooper at the end of the video. I also trim the beak from the Mark VI helmet to give a flatter, angry grill of Khan's Mark V. Checking with our reference images, we're pretty much there already, and without any green stuff being needed. Result! Starting with a plastic LI base, I start to break up a bunch of corky, barky stuff I had lying around. It probably has a technical name, but Lord knows what that might be. I make a quick sketch of the rock arrangement as per the original model, as a reference for the size, and get gluing. I blend in the edges with some super glue and fine gravel sprinkled on. And then start seeing where Khan will go. A very important part of the base is corpses. And I noticed that the heavy weapons marines without their weapon look like they're grasping at their throat, which is perfect for a marine just on the receiving end of Gore Child. A spare arm from another marine finishes this poor sod's pose, and the now armless marine left over becomes a second corpse, Khan, kindly prepared earlier. 
As this model will represent a command squad, I use the spare banner from the torso as a visual hint as to this model's in-game role, and place it in the dying arms of the grounded marine. Finally for the base, some texture paint just smooths out those transitions between rocks further. Then we leave it to dry. Whilst it dries, I just want to remind you all where I was a week ago. Feel free to skip forward 10 seconds if you don't care. My Eidolon video was recorded on a phone taped to a broom handle. It's amazing how a week can change a channel. Thanks to a very optimistic but very generously received Patreon, I've been able to get a tripod and light ring and some backing fabric for a more professional feel. I've also done a lot of practice with Premiere and CapCut. If you feel like it, please consider joining for early access to videos and photos, votes on future projects, regular raffles and giveaways, and your name in the credits. I guarantee every sub will go towards improving this channel with new equipment and tech. Thanks again, and on to the paint. I primed the Mini with Chaos Black, and did a Zenithal from the top with Grey Seer. It was a bit cold and rainy, given that it's winter, so just to be sure, once it's fully dried, I gave it a gentle dust with a stiff brush. I based the rocks with Doom Ball Brown and blended this into the grey base with Zandri Dust. A little gung ho green, though Deathworld Forest works well too, gives the base a mossy green tinge, and Auric Flesh brightens this up. Everything is blended together and shaded with a Thonian camo shade. and the rocks with Agrax Earthshade. I give Khan's exposed arms a little Reichland flesh shade, and when that's dry, we move on to the layers. Starting with Thunderhawk Blue, I painted all the shoulder pads and backpacks, as this mini is set during the Isfahan 3 slaughter, all marines, Khan and his victims, will be World Eaters. This gives the mini a clear palette with the rest of a World Eaters detachment, whilst also representing the brutal up-close purging of the traitors the World Eaters started after the virus bombs failed to finish the job. After that, the red accents were done with Corn Red, the brass with Rune Lord Brass, and the gunmetal with Lead Belcher. After this, I layered up the armour with Korax White. Korax White sort of has a bad rep for being not a very good white, but what it is is an excellent off-white. So I cover all the armour plating, leaving the joints with the grey-black primer showing through. I then blend these joints, as well as shading the blue and metal areas, with Null Noil. At which point, it's now certainly table ready. But we don't want table ready. We want lit. So the next step is to darken the pistol and back fence with Black Templar. And then we can start dry brushing the base first with Scrag Brown Rocks, then Jakairo Orange Rocks, then Zandri Dust all over, Deepkin Flesh all over, and Wraithbone all over, but lightly this time. I tidied up the base rim with Doom Death Black, but any black will do. Then I began the highlight layers. Mephiston Red for all the Corn Red, Thunderhawk Blue and then Lothurn Blue for all the shaded blue areas. Runefang Steel for all the gunmetal, and Liberator Gold for all the brass. I put a couple of non-distinct green blobs in the upper middle of the banner, and then trimmed out a white 12 a small black World Eaters logo, and a white skull transfer from the aircraft transfer sheet. 
I then arranged these on the banner until I was happy with the arrangement, and a little green was visible between the jaws. This was then set with a clear matte medium. I used spirit medium from Two Thin Coats, but use your favourite. I then edge highlighted the white areas with white star, added just a couple of scratches for battle damage on Khan himself with black, and then highlighted these with white. Now time for blood effect for the blood effect god, and subs for his throne. I'm using zombie gore, and vampire thirst, which were applied in pools, strokes, and teeny tiny spatters. I used a Yoohoo type glue to add some viscera between the neck and gore child, and then painted it with vampire thirst. Now the banner has set, I roughed up the transfers to blend them into the paint, and carefully used the World Eaters logo as a stencil, and coloured it in with Mephiston Red. And of course, a little more blood. And with that we're complete, and as they say, onto the glamour shots. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing maybe? And whilst I still have few enough to shout them out all individually, thank you so much for my patrons Edwin, Enric, Bradley, Wolf, Sven, Carbster, Dustin and Miku. This video literally could not have been made without you. And thank you all for subscribing, it's incredibly humbling how quickly this channel has blown up, and I hope I'm earning your faith as early adopters with the extra effort this video took. Someday I'll go back and refresh the idol on one too, but for now, the future. I wonder what I'll do next. Put your suggestions below. Merry Christmas to you all when it comes, have a wonderful new year and anything else you're celebrating. Peace and love to all, and keep on lit bashing.